Today we're going to talk about Raven of the Inner Palace, Episode 4. Yeah, we know. So keep on watching. I told you guys for, um, for three episodes now that this anime is a gem, but that doesn't mean we're going to get ahead of ourselves now. No, we're not. So, first order of business, the thumbnail. The Emperor has just given probably the most disturbing look on his face so far in this anime. Bakit? Eh, kasi... Obvious, eh, mukhang, mukhang minuto siya ng kanyang nanay at ng kanyang mentor, si Dean Lan. Oh, okay? Being visited by a ghost is scary enough, but two of them? <laughs> I hope the Emperor has, uh, has, a, has a strong enough heart for that. For a fact, being visited by two ghosts at the same time will, <clears throat> will spook the shit out of anybody, right? Even the Emperor. And, yep, that look on his face will make a great thumbnail. <laughs> so now, we get to the nitty gritty of this episode. Pace! As usual, the Raven Consort um, uh, gets wind of a case that, well, that her lady waiting Juju um, confided in her. It's about, uh, let's call it the case of the Ghost Skylark. This anime truly has the pacing of a detective anime, right? So, the pacing itself, talagang build up mocha towards the resolution of the case. But, um, it had quite a twist nearing the end, which is typical of a detective anime. Detective Conan has been doing that for a thousand or so episodes. This truly makes Raven of the Inner Palace a detective anime. Because I really love the pacing of this anime. I really love the pacing of this one. Because, talagang, but kung tuto si niyo malit malit na kaso lang ito eh. Hindi na dapat pansinin ng Raven Consort to. But, uh, she did it all for her, for her lady-in-waiting friend. No issues for me about the pacing of this episode. Talaga me. It's truly uh, the hallmark of a detective anime. Slow, but a build-up type. And yeah, it can be excruciating sometimes. But hey, uh, someone is trying to solve a case here. Natural lang yun. Flowman. First gear shift here was when Juju first um, confided in in Shushue about um, about uh, about this ghost Skylark's case. No brainer of gear shift there, folks. Because if kung hindi nag open up si si Juju regarding the Skylark princess. We wouldn't have another. We wouldn't have another episode. <laughs> Second gear shift was when the emperor uh, visited Juzue. That was invite me to Juzue sa kanya yung nag yung medyo na kaya na gaps nila ni ni Juju. Again, a no brainer of a gear shift. Number one. This is how. Um, it's a perfect illustration of how. Uh, of how close Zhuzhui and the Emperor have become. Despite their um, <clears throat> despite Zhuzhui's insistence that that she and the Emperor are like oil and water. I mean, bottom line, it, that year just goes to show you how um, how um, how close the Emperor is now to Zhuzhui. Even though she is the Raven Consort. Kaila, kasi ang protocol dyan, uh, the Emperor has to distance himself to the, from the Raven Consort as much as possible. And, the Raven Consort is the only thing the Emperor cannot, uh, cannot, throw, cannot throw orders at. No, no way. No. <laughs> We've all been deceived in the second episode. Okay? Hindi pa, hindi ganun eh. Hindi ganun kadaling bumigay ang, ang ating uh, ang ating main protagonist na si Shushue. Final gear shift is of course 
that scene we're in. Wow! Josue actually turned a wooden cave swallow na, na ginawa ng emperor para sa kanya into a real one. Again, a no-brainer of the few symbols. This goes to show you how powerful the women consort's magic is. She just turned an inanimate object into a living being. I don't know about you guys, but uh, Juzwe's magic right here, to me, she's now an OP character. Oh, that, that kind of magic is scary, guys. I imagine you can, imagine uh, you can you can turn any inanimate object into a living being. Wow. Grabe. So these three gearships that I saw, um, it may not totally define the episode, but it will give you a pretty good idea of how the episode ran. Yeah, not gearship it. It's up to you not to watch it. Okay, but all you know. And yeah, you will get my point. Blood lies. Hmm. Hmm. You know what, guys? I love the way Raven of the Inner Palace um, mixes the backstory and the explainer sequence because it's a good mix of both. Yo, but kaka kwento ni um, what's called this? Nung nung uh, nung best friend ng uh, ng Skylark Princess. It's it's in the form of drawings. So parang Parang shadow, parang shadow puppet na ganun style, right? Talagang, um, <clears throat> something you would only see from, from old school animes. I love it. I love the way, uh, I love the way they, um, they pull up these explainer slash backstory sequences. Combiner na yun. Therefore, Malinis ang plot, guys. Well, you're asking me now, JJ. Eh, backstory sequence na. Para na malinis ang plot. I told you guys just a while ago. For me, it it doesn't, doesn't even qualify as a backstory sequence. But an elaborate explainer sequence. Kasi ang source ng Ang source ng kwento nito ay yung mismong uh, yung mismong kaibigan ng Skylar Princess na na-interview ni Josue. For me guys, it's it's not a legitimate backstory sequence. But a clear example of an explainer sequence. Eh, well, ang ganda nga ng pagkakaano eh. Ng pagkaka... pagkakakwento eh. Right? The animation for that particular sequence, you can always see that in in, in older animes. Okay? And um it's also the Chinese way of um of telling a story, which which is which was uh it, it was a beautifully laid out sequence. I can what's up? I can't qualify that as a backstory sequence. Okay? Kaya, malinis pa rin ang plot ng episode na ko. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, there, are no there were no backstory sequences in this one. So, pace, flow, and plot. Okay, we got for this episode, folks. Again, this anime has proven to be a gem. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood ito, abay, ano ba yung ano hintay nyo? Ano ba yung So, Raven of the Inner Palace, Episode 4, No Brainer! Excuse me. So, ano ang parting shot natin for this episode? What? <clears throat> Learn from the lesson being imparted by this one. Kasi, hindi naman applied yung Ang moral lesson to sa between between master and servant, eh. between friends, between yeah, it's basically how you should how 
how you should deal with the people around you, not just your relatives, your friends, your, your co-workers, your employees. No. Um, each and every one of us has our subtleties. Yeah, well, tama sinabi ng emperor dito. If you don't, if you're not aware of the subtleties of other people, you'll just, you're, you'll, you'll just end up hurting someone again. Yeah, totoo yun. The, the man has a point. The man has a point. So, I strongly suggest, guys, you watch this episode and take to heart the life lesson you will, you will get from you 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 will get from this one and i got and don't be distracted by it by the case being solved by the raven concert muna okay. if you want uh if you want a true life lesson watch this one so again raven of the inner palace episode four